Hey guys, it's Heather from the Maker Jungle. We're here to, on our Tool Time Tuesday, and today we're going to bring up Glover Needles. I'm here in Baltimore. My husband is on a, on a trip, and so I kind of tagged along, and I went shopping at the bead shop down in um, Savage. And I got these really great needles in the beads. You can see the beads. Um, but I wanted to bring up today was the Glover needles. Um, I started using these, I don't know, a, a couple of years ago. I probably should have been using them a lot longer than that. If I had known about them, I would have started from the beginning. Um, what the Glover needles are, they were used uh, by people who make gloves, obviously, and, and leather. So they are cut on the end to have um, in, in sort of a triangle shape so that it, it will pierce leather much easier. So on the bead embroidery pieces that I do, um, I have the leather backing. Sometimes I will have a, an interface in the middle and then I'll have another layer on the top. This one is just, it's velvet and leather. But um, when you go in to pierce the leather, it will go straight through. Much easier than a beading needle. I, I can't tell you how many times that I pierced myself with a be with a beading needle um, because I was trying to force it through this tough piece of, piece of leather. But to here, I line up my beads, um, and then I find the spot that I want to put my needle. Of course, you have to pick it right the same in the right place every time because you can't um, pierce leather. But it just goes through like butter. It's amazing. And it makes it so much easier, so much faster, much more efficient. And if you know me, you know that efficiency is key for me. I, I love doing what I do, but I don't like spending a lot of time on wasteless and, and wasting energy on things that can be much more efficient. So, and you can see here, it was, it, it's nice and clean. Um, it doesn't shred the leather. This is, this is one of my favorite tools. So if um, this is what you're looking for, now you know to look for clover needles. Um, if you have any suggestions of tools that you would like to see next week, just drop me a line and let me know. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm so glad that you stopped by and come by next week for our tool time.